Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're a student athlete like me, you know how important it is to stay focused physically and mentally. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through my favorite pre-practice routine to help you have success at any level. So without further ado, let's get on with today's video. First things first, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Tip number one, hydration. Hydration is key and I know that I used to say this in a lot of my older videos and you probably know that I would say this but hydration is just the secret. You don't want cramps? Drink more water. You want to feel better during practice? Drink more water. You don't want to get dehydrated? Drink more water. Water is the solution to a lot of your issues and what's great is that it's such an easy fix. It's such a reliable resource that you could find in so many places. So just take a sip. Whenever you're feeling not good, take a sip. The day before, whenever, take a sip. I promise, taking a sip of water will never hurt you in the long run. It'll always help you. Number two is nutrition. So nutrition, I mean, it could go either way. I mean, for me, I'm at a level where nutrition doesn't matter as much, but it still matters, but it's not like intensified like college programs or NBA programs, but just make sure that you're not putting in too much junk on practice days. Like for me, I try my best to stay around dairy, even though I can't be the one talking when today I had pizza and Taco Bell, so my bad. But either way, I think it's good to stay on a good nutritional pathway. Make sure to just think before you eat. Some of my favorite snacks include granola bars and goldfish because they're not like oily and fried. And at the same time, like they add a good nutritional value, I guess. And at least like feel like I'm putting something good in my body so I hope that that kind of helps me I like eating crackers more than chips because I feel less guilty so comment down below I mean I know a lot of it has to do with like guilt but at the same time just try to eat something different like try not to try to stay away from fried foods or cheeseburgers like before practice because in the long run you probably won't feel good and especially if you eat like McDonald's before practice good luck Tip number three, and I kind of explained this in my last video, but just work with your confidence. So if you guys need any tips about that, make sure to watch the last video because that'll really help you. For me, visualization really helps or like talking to myself because when I like kind of talk to myself in a manifestation way, like good things are bound to happen. Like telling yourself like that's easy, like telling yourself things like you got it, like Things like that, just make sure to like play with your mind but in a good way. So you don't want to like devastate yourself and say like you're not good enough, like things like that. You need to put positive affirmations into yourself because in the long run, you'll be able to perform the task a lot better. And I'm saying this because it's true for me. Talking to myself really helps me, like saying you're gonna make this shot, you're gonna do the next one, you're gonna do amazing, things like that. Just say it to yourself, and if you don't have anybody to say it, I'll say it for you. You're amazing. This step is kind of cliche, but make sure you stretch because ain't nobody want cramps. So I want you guys to stretch at least every week if you're like from 8 to 12. And if you're like in high school, you should be stretching every day because high school is a time where you can cramp a lot. And I've seen it happen to so many of my teammates, and I don't want you to be the next victim of the cramp. So please just stretch. It takes like 20 seconds each stretch a day. That's it to prevent cramps. I mean, it won't prevent it for anybody, but in the end, it's good to be like more flexible, especially today. I'm going to be so sore because I'm going to my first like practice in like months. So it's going to really help for me to like just stretch out and hopefully I'll do okay. Something that kind of helps a lot of people lock in, especially my brother is music. So if this works for you, then I recommend doing it. So I recommend everybody at least try. You know, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of a hit or miss for me. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. But if it does work for you, use it. High playlists can really get in your head and if you could find the right music at the right time, it could put you in a great position to succeed. For me, I like songs that have like a slight beat, but sometimes I also like songs that calm me down because I'm a player that like thinks too fast, so I need to like slow myself down. But if you're a player that kind of processes things slower, maybe you listen to a faster music or vice versa, just do what works for you because music is for everybody. You just have to find the right mix. Tip number six, set goals for yourself. So in my previous video, I recommended that you guys all set realistic goals 
and that's exactly what would be applied to these moments so key things like I'm gonna make this shot I'm gonna do this like things like that are really gonna help with your mental focus because it'll really help you lock in with them. so in the end just make sure that you set yourself realistic goals that you can accomplish because at the end of the day when you accomplish those realistic goals it feels really good and if you don't accomplish your high 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 goals you get disappointed so it's better to think positively and to set yourself realistic goals and build those realistic goals because then they'll put you on a better path for success. Tip number seven, make sure your gear is ready well before practice. I like to pack my bags a long time before. For example, I just packed my shoe bag so I just make sure that I have my shoes because you know you can't play without shoes. But yeah, just things like that like making sure that you're prepared can really help your stress level go down because then you'll know like for example I'm filming a video but in a few hours I'm gonna go take a nap because that's what I'm gonna do I don't want to wake up and have to gather all my gear because in the long run well I'm more likely to like forget something and like things like that like it's not gonna work out really well if you like try to rush everything so that's it for my pre-practice mental physical whatever routine I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys learned a lot. If you guys are watching this before practice, good luck at practice, but remember to have fun always when you're practicing. Remember to love what you do because that's what it's all about. And I hope you guys learned something, whether you're a basketball player, soccer, volleyball, whatever sport you play, good luck out there. Keep playing, keep doing your thing, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.